Aries, hi, welcome to your read for the second week of December. We're going to be looking at the tarot here. We're going to be looking at the oracle cards here. Um, so yeah, Aries, if you'd like a personal read, reach out to me via email. The link is in the description. Um, a lot of these reads don't resonate for people because you're all not the same person. Hello, we all don't have the same planets. I can look at a general chart, but you may have Jupiter expanding somewhere else where it's expanding somewhere else for somebody else, right? So it's not all going to resonate here. Um, it's So yeah, be cautious with YouTube Tarot too that you don't get stuck trying to follow uh, stuff that's just not real. Um, I always tell people reach out for your own personal read to get you set on track with what you're supposed to be doing and where we're supposed to be going. All right, Aries. I like that with Aries. I could be straightforward with you. You guys like that. Queen of Cups, something's changing here for you, and it's on an emotional level here. That I don't see her any other way right now. Um, there's a season change here. What's going on here? Wheel of Fortune. Uh, what's being challenged? Like, it's not about you pressuring things. It's not about you trying to hold them back here. You have the Strength card here. There's a situation you got to be strong in this, this week. Yeah, look, there we have the King of Cups. Well, there are two people in this read but then there's also this page I don't like him here but we'll figure it out you have this eight of cups here in the past so you walked away from something that wasn't looking good here that's the way I see it and because you're the Aries you probably ran away <laughs> you ran away from something here and your strength was that you look good here on your own and whatever you're running away from I don't know it just didn't look good you were looking good on your own though Possibly when you ran away from this person and you said, nope, done with that, you started to look more attractive to this person here and I feel like they messaged you. That's why I don't like it. I figured it out. I don't like this page here. Now, here what you should know is the universe is saying you're trying to find a king to match this queen. Okay? Now, does this person that left you and came back is this person on that same status with you now? Not sure. <laughs> Not sure, although they, they do show up like a king here, or this could be that you are trying to find that king to your queen of cups here. Um, your suggested approach, though, is to leave this person out in the cold, and it's next to this page of coins. I'm sorry, this person that came back, uh, if they're coming back this week, and they're giving you the illusion of, hey, let's work on things. You have the moon in your 10th house, meaning you're focused on career right now. And it's going to be moving into the 11th house with Saturn putting boundaries here. And the moon is taking Venus and Pluto's energy. And it's taking it and putting it... Because when it leaves that sign, I feel like it's taking that energy. And it's taking it over to Saturn over in Aquarius. And what's Saturn looking over at Aquarius? In your, It's looking over at your 5th house, your dating life. Um, and so you're putting boundaries, restrictions on your dating life here, especially when it comes to this person, you're restricting this person because what they did to you was hurt you in your past. In your hopes and fears, you want 10 of coins, something Saturnian. You have Saturn sitting in 11th house right now of the friendships and the moon is going to be transiting that in the next three days here. It's going to be passing by and giving that that Venus and Pluto, like love and things ending and starting, transformation. And you're going to be thinking more about what's going to last you here. Because you want something that's going to give you, look at this Ace of Swords at the end of the read. You want something that's going to last you and that you need to sign paperwork here for. <laughs> is this a marriage you want? Um, I see that this is actually better. Um, whatever is coming back from the past needs to be put away here, honestly. Um, if this is like about a friendship thing, I think what you need to do is just kind of go with the flow about the situation and realize you look good on your own. You don't need this friend. There's a friend here that's treating you badly, I feel, this week. Um, like I said, it's not going to resonate for everybody, but it, there is the 
it is 11th house, right? And it could be something about community, Aquarius. There, there could be somebody that you are putting uh, energy into and they're not giving you back. But let's see at the bottom of the deck what's hiding here, Knight of Wands. What was hiding from you is that this person that came back, they're a player. Hmm. What else is hiding for you is uh, maybe next year there's a trip coming for you. Um, I think next year there's a trip coming for you. You know why? I'll tell you why. In June, July, did you go on some sort of trip? Because that was giving you a preview of your Jupiter going into Pisces. And there is something about overseas foreign type stuff. So, And the Knight of Wands has these pyramids here in the background. There could be something that you're trying to plan a trip. And maybe you'll meet this King of Cups on your trip there. Um, that could be a thing. Um, whatever was highlighted for you end of June, July, think about that. Because 2022 is going to kind of repeat that. And if it was a bad thing, I, I, I guarantee you, because the eclipse is kind of like whoop, changing it, you're going to have a good experience this time. And I feel like it was a good experience. A lot of people did have a good experience during uh, Jupiter going into Pisces. It retrograded, but now it's going to be moving forward into Pisces there uh, before the year changes out. And let's see here. Let's get you an Oracle card. Happy, happy. Yeah, you know, Aries, I like this. I love this energy, happy, happy. And I did say trip, and she does look like she's foreign here. She's beautiful. She's got these little rainbows and stars. This is you here. This is you turning that uh, page of coins away because they were too slow here. You're actually looking good here. Don't force things this week, especially when it comes to friendships or like maybe starting a relationship. Also, like, be careful because when Venus retrogrades, that's the time you don't want to be trying to highlight a relationship or change something also if you're trying to change something about your look uh don't do it during the venus retrograde and you're gonna regret it anyways so aries that's been your quickie for the second week of december and i will see you guys again next week bye aries